Cheeto. As of today, I will be streaming exclusively on Mixer. This is interesting, but as of the 29th of October, we will be streaming exclusively on Mixer. But I just knew 100% like this is this is it. Mixer dropped a surprise announcement by saying, it, "Oh wow, it's shutting down. They're giving up." I feel betrayed. I've given everything. I couldn't have given more. Because they didn't have any idea. Yeah. <laughs> so many, so many dreams for the future for the first time. Because I've been depressed for so long. The people behind Mixer once had really high hopes for the platform. We've seen phenomenal growth and success of the platform. We've launched a cross-platform service. We have all kinds of innovative features and functionality within the space. It all started in 2016 when Microsoft picked up a promising streaming startup called Bean. They renamed it Mixer and stuff. Oh, chat. Listen. Okay. I'm gonna say something that will sound rude, but it's not really rude. Okay. I, I hope that people can will, will, will not got my throat with this comment. A lot of people went or saw Mixer not because Mixer is a better platform, not because they, oh, I think Mixer is better for the experience. A lot of them went to Mixer because it's easier to get out of like the one viewer zone and get out of like the bottleneck zone and it's easier growth even though the, the peak isn't as high, they'll get out of the like the zero zone. And it's like, like, like a little bit like a shortcut, right? So it's kind of like, uh, I, I don't know. It's full of features that were supposed to make it better than Twitch. The website was very, well, how can I say it, smooth compared to Twitch. Like Twitch is, uh, was a bit scuffed, like for what it was. Whereas Mixer, just, every just seemed more, in a word, futuristic. But all the innovations that Mixer brought to the table didn't really matter. Twitch was the unrivaled king of streaming. Twitch has the highest number of viewed hours of any live streaming platform by far. But being so huge comes with its own set of problems. For example, Twitch is notorious for toxicity. Okay, Bogsy, broccoli head ass, typing first thing, hey honey, haha, play with me, I'll carry you, I'm immortal. What are you delusional? I swear to God, did I reject you? And then you're saying, oh, that's why this face cam is bigger than her gameplay. Mixer offered a chance for people who were intimidated by Twitch's size, reputation, and yes, toxicity, to stream to an audience of thousands without having to compete with the established big names on Twitch. Guys, 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 it's, it's hard to have people that are toxic on your platform when your chat, when your chat is dead. It's hard to have, it's hard to see if there's possible people that are mean when nobody's interacting. Like, that's kind of how I felt about uh... Community that was on Mixer at the time, or should I say Beam at the time, it was uh, it was a different platform than, say, Twitch or YouTube or anything else was at the time. It was almost like a family of outcasts that didn't fit in anywhere else on what was already considered an outcast sort of thing. But as welcoming as Mixer's community may have been, Microsoft was really hoping for a financial success. And in 2019, three years after Mixer launched, it wasn't really making a dent in Twitch's viewership. So Microsoft busted out the big guns. If people weren't gonna pay attention to Mixer, well, they were gonna force them to pay attention by signing the biggest gamer on the planet. First dub on Mixer ever. Got a little surprise for you coming off that win. We just wanna say congratulations on Mixer. We're all so proud of you. This is so awesome. That announcement was the first in a series of huge signings. It's not hard to understand why these big names signed these contracts. Sure, Mixer had a lower viewership, but the money does matter. All of a sudden, these people were free to do whatever they wanted. They had to stream, sure, but they could play whatever they wanted. They could build their brand. They didn't have to grind day in and day out chasing trends. And these signings kicked off a war for top tier talent. The best part is that I'm not gonna make it any harder for you. Chat, hold up, chat, have a take. Have a, chat, have a take. You need to have like a crazy Hawkeye for content, what is good, to go from like normal analytics and shit, and what you normally do, 
to go to completely opposite. Okay, I'll do whatever I want and still want to and still make a product that people want. That's really tough because then you don't know like how many people are just here because they're staying and how many people are actually coming in. Is it even growing? Is it even good? Are people actually, actually liking this? You can't tell because everything is just just got cut by half or, or, or more. And it's like, no, my fan is loud. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, I almost died. For top tier talent. The best part is that I'm not going to make it any harder for you because I've officially re-signed with Twitch. I'm moving to Facebook Gaming. Check me out there. Bye. So when are you leaving 100 Thieves? What? I'm not leaving 100 Thieves. I'm joining YouTube! But if Mixer was hoping that Ninja and Shroud would bring their huge Twitch communities and viewership with them, they were sorely disappointed. Mixer needed us. We may have needed Mixer to have a platform to stream on and make our community, but they needed us in a way. Like, they... They brought in streamers such as Ninja Shroud, and I loved, I do love Ninja and Shroud. I've watched Ninja since Halo days, and Ewok's a lovely lady. Oh, she's a lovely girl. She's awesome. But it just shows that you can't really pay your way to success. While the big names did bring in big numbers, they just couldn't get the same viewership they had on Twitch. Twitch is so deeply ingrained in the gaming community that even people's favorite streamer going over to Mixer couldn't convince them to stop watching people on Twitch. Man, you guys are my friends. I know. How many, I viewers, own how many viewers across the board do we have right now? I don't even know, man. Probably, I probably have like, what, 500? <laughs> Bro, you, I mean, that's like all of Mixer, right? <laughs> Mixer took a huge gamble, and it wasn't paying off. But what came next? shocked everyone one month they're giving us one month out of nowhere mixer announced that they were shutting down the platform was gone for good on july 22nd this is years of hard work for everyone building a really safe platform that clearly didn't have the intentions in the first place They've hidden behind such a huge fucking cover. I'm disgusted in Microsoft. I'm disgusted in Mixer. Mixer's partners, the people who tried to make a career out of streaming chat. on Mixer, were offered. Oh, hold up, chat. I don't. I want to. Did you? Most of people like. Hey, this is very sad, or whatever. But server costs are extremely high for live content, is it not? I'm disgusted in Mixer. Mixer's partners, the people who tried to make a career out of streaming on Mixer, were offered a chance to switch over to Facebook Gaming and keep their partner status there. But most people weren't really excited about that offer. It was like, it was literally like a punch in the face. It was literally getting dumped by a text. It was absolutely awful. It was a rubbish feeling. I think the problem that everybody had wasn't that Mixer is How shutting else? down. It was the way they shut it down. Um, we always knew that that was one of the appeals of going to Mixer was there was opportunity there, but when there's opportunity, there's always risk, and you've just got to weigh those up. And the people that streamed there weighed those risks up. We knew it was a risk. We just expected to be treated better. And as more details about the sudden shutdown came out, it was clear that things had been a mess at Mixer for a long time. Streamers weren't the only people blindsided by Mixer's shutdown. A lot of the staff had no idea that it was closing either. It's not like Wait. all of Mixer news. Hold up, what was that text? I, and you guys, I never seen that before. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, but why didn't they call this out and call these problems out when they happened or, or later? Why did they wait till the, the company was uh, about to announce that they're closing in? Long time. They did? Streamers weren't the only people blindsided by Mixer's before? shutdown. A lot of the staff had no idea that it was closing either. It's not like all of Mixer knew this was going to happen. It was only a very select few, and most of the staff found out when we found out. Um, from what I've been told from other people is that the staff got an email 15 minutes before the tweet went out. So, like, everybody was kind of hit by this. For huge streamers like Ninja and Shroud, before, shutting really? down yeah. meant that I they could know. basically do whatever they wanted. 
They got their money and their freedom. But for smaller streamers, the people who painstakingly built communities and even careers out of their Mixer channels, the news was devastating. But when you put two years of your life Believing in a platform that was so different. I fully believed in Mixer. I sat there and said, Do you know what? No matter what, I know there's issues, but it's different. It's community. It, it had, it really had such a different feel to it. It's hard. Oh, it's hard, it's hard. Are those, are those oh, the embers? Is that embers? It is a very emotional roller coaster today. I have given everything, every dollar I have. And Phyllis doesn't care. I mean, I don't care. I'm watching the video. I have into this platform because I believed in it. The offer to move to Facebook. Hey guys, guys, listen, listen. This is something that I've said before. Did. I hate when you guys have it emotional expectations out of me like if something happens to my friend or or, or something happens with, with, with an acquaintance and you guys want me like to cry or be sad or like or, or whenever you're doing something you want me to like uh, be empathetic dude that's just not how it gonna happen it, it, don't don't have stop having fucking emotional expectations out of me that's fucking cringe dude shut the fuck up facebook is meaningless for most mixer streamers they basically have to start from scratch i'm now in this point of being someone that has built a career built a community having to decide, do I have to rebrand? Will Twitch give me the name that's on an unactive account? Will they not? Do I have to completely change and uproot everything and then try to reach out to my entire community? Like some of my community are out in Afghanistan right now and they tune in with the troops and people like that. So it's it's a it's a life changing decision for many other people as well. I know a lot, a lot of partners and a lot of people who are not partner that are having just these same issues. Um, it's up uphe it's upheavaled everyone from the Mixer platform came out as all blind and um, yeah it's 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 a hard time for a lot of people faced with this impossible choice most mixer streamers decided to start over again on twitch what happened immediately after mixer announced that people left in droves like mixer is basically a ghost town now and um, so you either got up and left or you died there that's pretty much how it was going to go i spoke to other streamers i spoke to mods i spoke to friends i spoke to everyone i could and everyone was switching to twitch but besides the obvious hurdles that come with starting again on a new platform most mixer streamers felt like they were losing something far more precious than a paycheck i might not have been here as long as some of the partners but i've said every stream this changed my life this really <laughs> you guys have been the best this has been the best honestly the best three years of my life Honestly, I cannot express that enough, dude. When we look back on Mixer in a few years, it'll be remembered for a lot of things. It'll be remembered as the platform that started the streaming wars, that legitimized a full-time career in streaming because they proved that it could come with a huge paycheck. It'll be remembered as a disaster of a streaming platform, a service that spent however many millions to secure big names and then failed miserably. But it will also be remembered for abandoning the people who needed it most. But as a whole, I just feel like what Mixer was promised to be was never actually true. It was led to feel like this big community where everybody had an impact and that we, we all could help grow a site that was different than the things that already existed. And now I realize that maybe that was naive of me to believe. We can make all the jokes in the world about Ninja and Shroud getting paid to do nothing. But the fact of the matter is, most Mixer streamers have been left to fend for themselves. And now, they have to find a new home. One that they can only hope won't crumble down around them again. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages. All right.